Okay, what I'd like to do is uh, show you how to find or classify some angles. Um, so what we have is we have two parallel lines. I'll denote them as parallel lines by putting these double arrows. So then these two lines are never going to cross. And then we also have a transversal. And what a transversal is, it's a line that's going to intersect two other lines. And normally we're going to be using them when they're parallel. However, they don't have to be parallel, but um, these values aren't really going to be that important unless they are parallel. So a couple things we need to look at. I gave you, uh, we're going to do four problems, and I have two different, um, well, I have four different classifications that we have to follow. The first one is alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, and consecutive interior. So those are four different types of angles that um, we're going to look to see um, how we can describe them using this figure. So each one of these numbers represents an angle on this figure. Um, so the first one says, let's look at question number one. It says measure of angle one and measure of angle eight. So therefore what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how are these two angles related to each other. And I'm going to use the definitions up here for these four types of problems so you guys can see how I can classify these two angles. Well, one thing you can notice is if I have my parallel lines, these two angles are outside of my parallel lines, correct? They're both on the exterior of the um, parallel lines. And then also you could say that one is above the transversal and the other one's below the transversal. So that's where it kind of gets that alternating, right? So it's alternating, it would, one's above the transversal, one's below. That's the alternating part. And since they're both outside of the parallel lines, we're gonna call them exterior angles. So this one is what we call alternate, alternate, exterior angles. So now we have that one canceled out. The next one is measure of angle two and measure of angle four. So now we're going to be looking at these two angles. And what you notice on these two angles is I kind of like the way I like to look at this is kind of think of these as like a picture frame. If I was going to kind of take a snap picture of like this angle just right here, this little intersection of my line and my, and my transversal, what you notice is the number two, this angle, is in the rightmost corner. The same thing, if I was going to take another picture over here, you can notice that the angle number four over here is also in the exact same um, corner. So therefore, what you can say is that both of these angles are both in the upper rightmost corner. So what they are is they're corresponding to each other. They're, they're exactly in the exact same position um, for both angles. So these two angles are what we call corresponding angles. So now we're done with corresponding angles. All right, they correspond to one another. They're exactly in the exact same shape. They're exactly in the exact same spot for each intersection. Uh, for number three and six, all right, now number three and six, you'll notice, again, these are what we kind of get back to that alternating. One is above the transversal, and another one is below the transversal. However, unlike the exterior, these are both inside of my parallel lines. So therefore, these are what we're going to call alternate interior angles. So um, by default, that's going to leave our last one as consecutive. But let's see why are they, are they consecutive. So it looks at number of questions or angles six and seven are what we call consecutive interior. Are they both inside of my parallel lines? Yes, they are. And remember, consecutive, when you think about consecutive numbers, those are numbers that are right next to each other. Well, that can kind of play along with these too. These angles are kind of right next to each other as far as, you know, down below here. So they're right next to each other as far as, uh, and they're both interior. So that's why we call measure of angle six and seven consecutive interior angles. And that's how you classify um, two parallel lines with a transversal, classify angles given two parallel lines and a transversal.